Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through how you can use ADA Playground, the online simulator, for verifying your RTL using CocoTB in Python. So, if you don't want to install the CocoTB in your machine, you can use this online simulator. So, what are what are the steps for that? I will walk you through with this example. So, for understanding that, we what we'll do, we'll take a simple AND gate. Okay. And this is what is truth table for AND gate. So, as you know, whenever the input A and B, if you are taking two input AND gate, both are one. At that time only, Y, the output will be one. Else, for other cases, Output output should be zero. Okay. This is what a simple truth table for end, and this is what the simple <coughs> RTL code for that. Okay, so and get module and module and get input A B and output reg Y because we are using always concurrent block. Always at the rate start this input A and B. With this, it will take all the inputs within begin end. Uh, I'm saying y is equal to a and b okay and this initial begin block i am just dumping a file in order to see the waveform now let me walk you through the coco tb test bench which is written in python so this is what the simple thing import coco tb we have to use this and we have to import this timer and test failure reporting mechanism this timer for adding a delay and this is what at the rate coco tv dot test, test it is a decorator okay. and this is what e method okay def and test and within parenthesis we are saying dut so with this dut we can access the internal signals of this and bit okay a b and y here just i am printing dut dot underscore log info start of test and here I am just giving a delay of 10 nanosecond and here I am just printing drive 0 and 0 to inputs of this and gate. So as you know both inputs are 0, output should be 0. And again we are waiting for time time unit and we are checking the condition. If the y meaning the output if it is not equal to 0 then rise a test failure. Else just a print the message like it's passing or pass and in order to check what is the value of that y whenever a and b both are zero we are just printing the value of y du to dot y here okay with this print string similarly for all condition for zero one condition we know it will it should give zero okay same the things just i am you know changing driving the different values here zero 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 one then one zero and one one. You can check the same. The things are same. Just we are printing the values here. Okay. We are driving and we are printing the value of output. Here. And one one at the end. So we are checking the condition here. If output is not equal to one, then rise test failure else. Pass and print the value of one. And just uh, you know dot dot underscore log info kind of test. I'm saying test is ending. So for that now you have to in the test bench plus design you have to choose python plus sv slash verilog and in the methodology you have to check you have to select coco tb 1.0 and in the simulator you can choose icars verilog 0.9.7 and just we are enabling this open ep view after run because we want to check the waveform with this term then control s in order to save and control enter in order to run that okay the waveform is here first we will analyze the output on this terminal then later we'll say check the waveform so as you can see over here a start of test okay this is start of test message then we are waiting 10 nanosecond and we are driving 0 0 to input of that and okay driving input to end gate 
and we are waiting for again 10 time unit 10 time 10 nanosecond and we are checking the condition if y is not equal to 0 then raise test failure raise the test failure else print the value of y and pass okay so it is passing and you can see the value of y is equal to 0 meaning it's expected only in the second case 0 1 similarly if it is not 0 then raise test failure else print the value of y and print a message pass okay so driving 0 1 it is passing and it's printing the value 0 which is expected okay. in the third case while we are driving 1 0 to inputs okay here also we are checking the condition if the output is not equal to 0 raise test failure else print the value of y and print message pass okay so as you can see 1 0 it is passing and printing the value y is equal to 0 in the fourth case okay whenever when the both inputs are 1 1 so we are expecting that output should be 1 here okay? so we are waiting 10 nanosecond here yeah? and we are checking if the output is not equal to 1 then raise test failure else say pass and print the value of y so as you can see over here while we are driving a and b 1 1 to input of an end gate and it's passing and it's printing the value of y is equal to and just we are saying end of test here we are just saying that dut dot underscore log info end of this and if you just uh, check the waveform you also can observe here at 10 time unit both are 0 0 output 0 here at 20 0 1 output 0 at 30 1 0 output is 0 and at 40 time units 1 1 so both are 1 output is equal to so this is why you can uh, this is what you can check the value on on this waveform and you can analyze the output on this console with this i hope you have understood how you can run a coco tv example of your rtl in eda playground and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you